Arnold Dreiblatt, the, the, I think our longest uh, Berlin resident of all the Americans on the, on the show today. Um, I don't know, we'll find out shortly how long Arnold's actually been living there. Um, long time. Long I, think, time. I think longer than Bang on a Can has existed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He went over on a DAAD grant, I think, and then didn't come home. You know, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I can see why. Um, but just to say, most of our experience with Arnold Dreiblatt has been with instruments that he reconstructs. So maybe the very first experiment, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think some of the first experiments were on a, his bass. He's a bass player, and he would rebuild the bass to function in the ways he needed. Um, so we're, you know, our usual kind of connection to Arnold is seeing him with a reconstructed string instrument. He had a group called the Orchestra of Excited Strings where I, everything was rebuilt and retuned to make that kind of beautiful beating harmony that he I think made. I think one of the amazing things also is that this um, electronic version, um, it sounds exactly as rich and as full as the Orchestra of Excited Strings. So it sounds, um, I mean, it shouldn't be surprising that his music sounds like his music, no matter where he's making it, but, um, but it does. We've already talked about the orchestra of excited strings and where Michael first met you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> yes, in, in, uh, in Eindhoven, yes, I remember very well. Yeah, that incredible band. Um, yeah, what should I talk about? So I get this actually, it's a short part of a longer piece which I compressed for this, uh, which is with MRI sounds. So it's all stuff that I recorded in a, a radiology um, lab of a hospital in Berlin, uh, all these frequencies, and they're unaltered. Wow. So I, I kind of just combine them. And it's kind of a big Tesla coil. So they're all like always in tune. Yeah. Uh, I normally don't use electric sounds, but, you know, it's kind of hard to go on tour with it an MRI, you know, so uh, uh, this is the only possibility. But I, I've always loved these sounds. I've been working out with this stuff a little bit since, um, uh, you know, parallel to my other stuff uh, since 2004, actually. Why are they in um, that, that kind of tuning? I mean, that's kind of bizarre, isn't it? Or is it not bizarre? Yeah, I mean, you know, the um, when I first recorded them, uh, I had a guy, I mean, it was like, you know, it's a Siemens machine and it's called Magnetome, which is the name of the piece, the model. And, uh, and by chance, I had a guy, you have to, we had to do it in the middle of the night and we had a, a technician who was like a rock engineer, a rock music engineer earlier in a former lifetime. So he knew where all these sounds were, but I, I, I really don't know. I mean, you know, he would go like, do you like this? And I would say, well, wow, that's fantastic. Give me more of that. And then he would say, okay, you'll love the right knee, you know, you know, left hemisphere of the brain is going to really get you, you know, so let me play that for you. I'm sure you're going to like it. So that's how I got the sounds. The incredible thing the about nurses, they don't know anything. What? Being in an MRI um, is this completely immersive experience that has that kind of sound world also. So it's kind of terrifying and loud and kind of shocking and so um, I can really imagine your piece, um, you know, being in, you know, where you're actually um, surrounded by all of the sound, which would be unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, it works really well with, uh, you know, multiple speakers. I've done it a few times where it's really, you know, sent out to all the speakers are really in it, you know, inside it. Yeah. So actually, so Arnold, so the, I, the tones, the long tones are coming from the machine. Um, the clicking, um, the percussive sound, yeah. is that also generated from also the machine? In fact, there's really hardcore percussion stuff. If anybody, if any of you have ever had an MRI, I mean, I, I was more interested in the, in the kind of uh, sine square wave stuff, but, um, but of course there's, yeah, there's some stuff that I, I kept in there. There's much more of that. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's only that. So, um, but um yeah, I mean, I've never found anyone that could really explain to me why these frequencies, yeah. Uh, and uh, other than that, they're, you know, you could feel that they're related. So when I got this, you know, after I made, I, I did like three different recording sessions, also when I was at MIT. And, you know, it was never that I had tones that didn't sound like harmonic in some way. 
you know, it's a weird tuning, but, you know, it was never like incredibly jarring, like, okay, this is never going to work, you know, yeah. Yeah. which is amazing actually. But I think of, you know, it's kind of a, a huge electromagnet, you know, if you think of Tesla, it's a good analogy, I think. Yeah. It's One amazing thing. how much it sounds just like your orchestra. I was say, yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what David was saying yeah. before you came on, Arnold. Yeah, yeah. It's very much your your sound world and your music. So that was. Oh, well, I hope so. Yeah, I hope it's it. not. I mean, the fact that it's you know from recordings. Uh, I hope it's it's somehow in the spirit of my music. You know, otherwise I I couldn't do it. Yeah, Arnold, it. It's, um, it's fantastic to see you, and it was so great to hear that performance. Yeah. Um, yeah, great to see all of you too, and uh, I hope uh, someday we'll be able to meet live. Uh, I'm sure that everybody is saying that, but uh, um, yeah. On the other hand, think you know because of this kind of crisis, you know, I find myself in Zoom with people all over the world. So that is something else. You know, it's not what we would have you know wanted <laughs> in terms of like experiencing that, but. Uh, you know, well, let's happy. hope when, when this is over that that will stick around. Yeah, you know? right, right. I think it will. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank Take you. Care. Thanks, Arnold. Thanks, Arnold. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.